the Bills borrowed their initial look from a faraway town. Ralph Olson, who's still the owner today, is from Detroit. In their first year, they actually adopted the blue and silver of the Detroit Lions. Perhaps he was influenced by a love of Detroit. But that went away uh, very quickly, and they wanted to create their own image. And that new image consisted of two simple colors, blue and white. Pretty basic uniform. Buffalo is a working man's town, and, and this is a simple uniform. It wasn't like a lot of their AFL brethren in 1960, the San Diego Chargers and flashy colors. The bills were all business. The two-tone scheme was soon brightened with a splash of red. And by adding red and, and becoming a red, white, and blue team, it made a lot of sense. Buffalo considers themselves the all-American city. In the 80s, the bills adopted red helmets, which contrasted with the white headgear of their division rivals that wide receivers coaches wanted the Bills uh, quarterback to be able to pick them out and the red helmet was a factor. In the early 90s, the Bills dominated the AFC, going to four straight Super Bowls. And though they didn't win, the team and its blue collar fans weathered the storm. Something about that color, they looked comfortable in cold weather. You expected to see the Bills in snowstorms, even in later years, as they've jazzed up and now jazzed back down their uniform, Buffalo's look has been a very simple and very distinctive look. Blue and red, they're not just colors, they're tenacity.